Alright guys, welcome. This is the update for the AP Physics 1 class. This is March 20th because I'm just giving you the information as I'm getting it, okay? So here's the update that you should base on, okay? First of all, the College Board is still planning to give the tests, okay? All right? This is a new um, change. That's why they're implementing all of this, okay? The first thing you want to make sure you look at is that they are going to provide remote free remote learning resources okay so that means they're going to be coming up with videos or something to support you okay now what has changed is this okay traditional face-to-face -face exam administration will not take place so we are planning to come back in may first that's what's scheduled as of right now but if that continues right if that gets moved because some school districts just finished their end already it's their school year is done. So the exam is now going to just be a 45 minute online free response exam. 45 minutes. Do you see that? 45 minutes online uh, free response exam at home. Okay. All right. Some students may want to take exam the earlier um, if the content is still fresh. Okay. So um, there are two different. Um, so there are two different types of uh, test dates that are going to occur. As of right now, they haven't released the full schedule yet. Okay. So about this year, um, please understand that it's going to be a 45-minute online free response exam at home only. Okay. So not sh no one knows what's actually on it, but this is what has changed. Okay. Okay. So this is what has changed. For us, it's the AP Physics test, right? Only unit 1 through 7 is covered. 8, 9, and 10 are not covered. What does that mean? Okay, so if you look at our course breakdown, okay? 1 through 7, kinematics, okay? That is throwing stuff. Dynamics, which is just uh, force, okay? Um, circular motion and gravity. Energy, momentum. Simple harmonic motion, torque, and rotational motion. Okay, we covered all of this already. The only two things that we haven't covered is dynamics, which is throwing stuff, and uh, circular motion and gravity, but we sort of have talked about that. Okay, the last three parts um, are not going to be covered. Waves and sound are not covered. Um, DC electric fields are not covered. So, the good news is that as of right now, based on the test, the unit one, um, the unit one through seven, you've covered all of it. The only ones you haven't covered is dynamics and gravity, okay? And I could go over that for you, okay? So, this should give you some insight that the test is very doable, okay? So, please understand it's only one through seven now, all right? So, this exam, and, and again, it is a, for this year only, the way the test is going to work is that it is a secure 45-minute online free response exam for each course, okay? The exam content will focus on what most schools are covering, right? Um, that's why the sections of electric, DC, and waves were removed, okay? 8, 9, and 10 were removed, okay? So you could be able to take this on any device, your computer, tablet, or smartphone. You also have the option to write your responses by hand and submit a photo. Okay. College supports this solution and are committed to ensure the AP students receive credit. So again, they're trying to do their best to give you credit. Okay. That means they're lowering technically the bar in how much you're supposed to know. So Put in the effort now, right? And you could pass this test, okay? So they're going to provide AP um, review classes uh, beginning March 25th. You can attend free um, live AP review course delivered by AP teachers across the um, country. I will still release uh, YouTube videos on it, okay? Um, if you scroll down to the um, AP physics, right? Um, and AP Physics 1, there should be lessons down here, okay? So, all this information 
can be found on our teams okay so if you go to teams i posted every single one information okay here is the college board's um, information on the changes this is the information this is the course breakdown tells you what you need to cover and again it's not a lot okay because again, it is only a 45 minute free response. Not sure how they're going to structure that. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here. All right. So, how can you prepare for it? First of all, go to files. All right. And there is the AP Physics uh, workbook. Okay, so if you hit on the workbook and download the workbook, uh, this is where I'm going to be coming. Um, this is where I'm going to be getting my a lot of my um, questions. Okay, so this is how I feel you're best going to um, prepare for the test. The test is no longer a multiple choice. Okay, it's free response. So again, it's going to be something like this. If you want to prepare for anything, you work on the workbook. Okay, this should prepare you 100% for it, right? I will post video solutions on each one of the workbooks, okay? I'm going to start on kinematics. Um, we've did, um, and I'm going to go through the rest, all right? Okay, so again, download the workbook, all right? If you need notes on it, okay? Um, here are AP visit, uh, this is YouTube lectures on it. Um, I would click on the first one. This gives you a really good breakdown on the content. Um, okay. Really good videos. Very short 10-minute videos. Just gives you a really good cla uh, crash course on it. So you're not completely lost. Okay. Um, these are just some notes. If you want to click on this. Right. 1D Demanics. And if you go down by each topic... <laughs> Here's an introduction. What is the acceleration? Blah, blah, blah. Here, it gives you more information, okay? But here, this is more math content, okay? Remember, the AP Physics is more, can you explain the math, all right? So, how can you, moving forward, how best do you prepare for the test? Do the workbook. Check my YouTube page for solutions on how to do the workbook. Here are your information if you need extra information on how to do it, please, in closing, please understand it is now a 45-minute online free response exam. Okay? That only covers up to the parts of kinematics, which is throwing, dynamics, which is forces. We already covered all of this in detail. Circular motion gravity, I'm going to release videos on that. Energy, we already talked about that. Momentum, we already talked about momentum. Simple harmonic motion, we already talked about that in forces. Torque and rotation, that's what we left school with. We finished this, all right? That's all you need, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. But that's the updated information on how best prepared, all right? Good luck.